Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've recorded a video on a command block contraption, but the other day someone by the name of RetroNuva challenged me to create a sort of roof hanging concept using the new levitation effect. So I created a concept for it and I was really happy with it. So instead of doing a sort of showcase video on the contraption, I thought since it's so simple and it's really cool, I thought we could actually build it together. So this is going to be kind of like a tutorial. Um, so you can make this in your own world and I'll try and explain it as much as possible. It's pretty simple, but if you have any questions, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them. Um, but let's get started. So the idea of this concept is that we'll basically be able to stick to the underside of a block. So if I were to jump up here, I stick onto this sandstone as if I'm grabbing hold of it and we'd be able to sort of basically hang on to the underside of the block and move around as normal. And then as soon as we get to the edge of a block, we'd fall back down to the ground again. So to make this, the first thing that we're going to do is change the game rule for command block output. And this is just to stop the chat from getting clogged up with spam from the command blocks. So I'm going to do slash game rule, then com, and then press tab to autocomplete, and then type in false. Next thing we're going to do is give ourselves a command block. So just do slash give at p command underscore block. Um, you'll have to be in creative mode and be sort of opt or have cheats enabled to do this. So you can, an easy thing to do is just to open to LAN and allow cheats on, then start LAN world. Um, but obviously, if you're in a creative world, you'll probably have that already enabled. So we're going to place down this command block. And we're going to go inside it and change it to repeat. And we're going to keep it as needs redstone just so we can turn it off easily. So I'm going to place a redstone block there just so we know it's powered. And we're also going to want to control click on that just to get it easily and get a chain command block as well and set that to always active. So chain command blocks will always be run when this is on basically. So if we turn this off, everything's off. So first things first, we have to actually detect when the player is in a position for the levitation effect to activate. So in other words, when they're underneath a block. Now for mine, I'm going to make it so it works underneath any block. So it could be um, sandstone or stone, it doesn't matter. But you could easily change this so that um, it only works for a certain block, for example, leaves or something, I don't know. Um, so we're going to set up a scoreboard objective. So we're going to do slash scoreboard objectives. Remember, tab autocomplete to make this easier. Add, and I'm going to call mine hang. You can call it whatever you like. Um, I suggest keeping the name sort of similar to what you're trying to do. And then objective type dummy. And this basically means that Commands are the only thing that's going to affect this scoreboard objective, which is what we want. So we're going to add that now. Um, and now we're going to set it to the sidebar just so we can see it um, in action. So slash scoreboard objectives set display oops, sidebar hang. And obviously you can't see anything at the moment because no entities have any score for hang. So we're going to just do scoreboard players set at p hang one. So it definitely works now. So next up, we need to set up an execute detect command to detect when we're underneath a block. The problem is I'm going to detect for any block, not just one type of block. So how are we going to do that without using tons of commands? We are actually going to detect for air instead. So when it detects air, it will not activate the effect. When it doesn't detect air, it means you're underneath a block, so it will um, sort of execute the effect. So we're going to go into our first repeat command here, and we're going to do scoreboard players set all players um, hang one. So the default value is going to be one for all players. Next up in this command block, we're going to do the execute detect command. So execute from all players detect and then we're going to detect two blocks above the player um, so sort of two blocks above their feet which is the block above them um, air zero and if it detects air then it's going to do scoreboard players set 
at p oops uh, at p hang zero so it's going to set the score to zero when they don't have a block above them so you can see in the sidebar it's already set to zero um, but as soon as i jump up to this block it's going to say hang one and when that number is one it's basically going to activate so next up I'm going to grab this command block and just do the levitation effect. Pretty simple. So we're going to do slash effect. Well, you don't need the slash. Um, at all with score hang min equals one. So if they have a hang score of at least one, it will give them the levitation effect with one second power zero and no particles. That's what the true is for. Um, so you can see now if I go into game mode zero real quick, if I jump up, I now actually get the levitation effect, which is pretty cool. I can move underneath the block, but the only problem is if I leave the block, I actually still get the levitation effect for a short sort of second after I leave the block. Um, and obviously that's not ideal. So we're actually going to use a trick using the effect command to actually get rid of that. So we're going to get out another chain command block, place it down and then do effect at all score hang equals zero so if they have a hang score of zero or below basically just zero then it's going to give them the levitation effect of zero zero which basically just clears the effect so it'll clear the effect if they don't have hang zero if they don't have hang one sorry so you can see if i jump up now i should probably go into game mode uh, zero just to demonstrate this um, as soon as I leave the block, I'll fall back down. So we've pretty much got it working in just four command blocks. We've pretty much got the whole thing done. There is, however, one sort of tiny problem with this, and that's a change that was also introduced in 1.9, the fact that sneaking now changes the size of your hitbox. And this means that if you have the levitation effect, and you're underneath a block, if you shift, you'll actually go up into the block and start taking damage. Um, obviously that's not sort of great, so we're going to actually make it so shifting will make you fall, which is actually kind of a nice feature, I think. I'm now stuck here, so let's go back into game mode one. Um, so we're gonna add a, another scoreboard value for when you're crouching. So scoreboard, objectives, add crouch and then this one is going to be stat dot sneak time so this is affected by the time that you're spent crouching um, i believe this is another new sort of stat added to 1.9 uh, which makes it a lot easier to detect when they're crouching so if we do scoreboard objectives set display sidebar crouch instead we can see that i've crouched for 27 ticks so if i keep crouching you can see it goes up so now that we've got the crouch stat set up all we need to do is add two extra command blocks to this and the whole thing will work so we're going to go inside of this command block here which clears the levitation effect press Control a Control c to copy it place a new chain command block, paste in the new command, and we're gonna change score hang equals zero to score crouch um, underscore min equals one. So if they have a crouch score of at least one, then it's going to clear the levitation effect from them. And then just so that the crouch score resets um, after you've stopped crouching, we're going to do scoreboard players set at all crouch zero. So that's gonna, only be one when you're actually crouching it's pretty cool um, so now you can see if I jump up to here I'm going to game mode zero just so you can see it again um, I can sort of hang on to the ceiling as soon as I go to the edge I drop off and if I crouch I also drop off so I'll go into f5 just to sort of show this a bit easier um, obviously it would be cooler if the hands um, actually rose up too, but we can't actually do that unfortunately. But it's still a pretty cool effect, um, and I'm pretty proud with how sort of simple it was to make. Um, and I thought I'd share the tutorial with you guys because I haven't done something like this in a while. So 
it's pretty cool. And it also works with, um, oops, it also works with blocks that aren't just sort of, um, I guess a full block. It'll work with things like um, slabs or, I don't know, stairs, any, anything basically. It'll sort of work where the, hit, where the hitbox is different. Um, the only problem is with things like this, you can see there's a slight sort of, um, I guess, delay between where you sort of, sort of jump up. And that's because we've set the detect command, oops, wrong one, detect command to be two blocks um, above the player's feet, um, which also causes this effect to happen. So if you're walking underneath a block, you'll actually get sucked up so that you're sort of hanging onto the block, which obviously isn't ideal. So we're going to change the um, effect distance, or no, sorry, the detect distance from two to around one point, I think 1.85 was what I ended up with. So you won't be able to jump on these blocks um, just because of you actually get sort of pushed back down but you can jump up to these blocks and it'll all work fine. Um, you can see it can jump up to there. So as long as you're within sort of that um, detect range, you'll be able to get the levitation effect. Um, you can still do it if there's a gap like this. You just can't jump up from a sort of block that's directly above your head. Um, but yeah, that's basically the end of the concept. It's pretty simple but I am really happy with it and I'm glad I could sort of share it with you guys as well. I hope you guys found it interesting and found it useful. Um, let me know if you want me to do more sort of tutorials like this, just simple little things that are kind of cool, um, just so you can practice doing command blocks because that's all command blocks are practice is as long as you practice enough and sort of understand the key things, then you'll, get better at them and eventually you'll be able to figure out things yourself. So that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.